everybody was so excited to be back at it. They're just chomping at the bit to get back out there and, and compete and uh, finish. For the first time since the start of the pandemic, the Waco Triathlon returned to Central Texas with hundreds lining up for some reason on the banks of the Brazos at 6 a.m. Sunday morning. But amid the hundreds of competitors, a few stood out. Early Sunday morning, hundreds hopped into the Waco waters for the first leg of the Waco Triathlon. I've never seen so many people. Uh, beginners are usually very nervous but they all just had this certain energy. They were just ready to go, ready to do it. Jaden Chapman was one of them, a lifelong triathlete whose life took a scary turn a few years ago when he broke his neck and had to relearn how to walk. It took me a couple years to get to learn how to swim again. And so 2015 is when I started racing in the wheelchair division. His swimming stroke, not near what it was before the injury. The current making life even more difficult. First time swimming in a river, that was a, a new challenge. But as he struggled, he also inspired. For all the sprinters standing there, they were just like clapping and yelling and they were all just, you know, jaws dropped watching this guy get in the water and go with one arm. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's wonderful, it's awesome. He wasn't the only paratriathlete competing. Meet Keegan, the handicapped son of a triathlon loving family. His mom finding a way to include him in the race, dragging him along in a raft and riding with him attached in the back seat. I have so many opportunities as a race director to get teared up because there's amazing things that happen out there. Both Chapman and Keegan saw their races cut short because of the weather or line of storms, finally stopping their triumphant journey. But even as others cross the finish line, their motivation is as strong as ever. I, I already want to come back again next year.